The BCG vaccine is over a 120-year-old uh, vaccine that was developed in Paris, France, originally for tuberculosis prevention. But gradually, over the last 15 years, global clinical trials have started to show, even in phase two and phase three trials, its effect in autoimmune multiple sclerosis and autoimmune type one diabetes. Diabetes, it's a 24-7, 365 days a year disease. It does not know any holidays. So children with type 1 diabetes uh, needs to check their blood sugar uh, either by pricking their uh, finger um, four to five times a day or to wear continuous glucose monitoring. And they need to carb count for every meal or snack. Uh, and they need to give insulin for every, every time that they have a high blood sugar, either through an injection or through an insulin pump, which make them feel different and which cause a psychosocial issue for them. Uh, parents need to be constantly aware of that. So it's really affect their quality of life. My son's mindset when he was diagnosed, he was young enough to not know everything about it, but he was old enough to know that his life was changing and we tried to normalize it as much as possible, um, but it was, it was difficult. It affects a child or a teenager's life uh, in many ways. When the children are in school, they have to stop and test their blood sugar. If they play sports, they have to uh, make sure their sugar is in range, that they're gonna take a test and they can't focus on the test because their blood sugar is high and their eyes are shaking, so they have to control the blood sugar before they start taking a test. So it becomes a very big inconvenience all around um, for them in school, whether it's in class or doing an activity or a sport. The published data for the efficacy of BCG in randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trials that are already published showed that in adults, even adults with type 1 diabetes for 15, 20 years, that this vaccine, with the passage of time, could lower hemoglobin A1C levels. The pediatric populations are also special because not only do they have the white blood cell defect, like the adults, that we think can restore the sugar transport in the white blood cells, the kids still have some pancreatic function. And the recent new news is that we have a collaborative multi-center pediatric trial now with NYU Langone and the Mass General Hospital to begin enrollment in children that have had over two years of diabetes before we start the placebo or BCG vaccinations. Right now, there is no other uh, approved uh, medication uh, besides uh, insulin uh, that decreases the blood sugar and glucagon that increases the blood sugar for hypoglycemia. Even a partial improvement, a partial reversal would be a win. That would be something that could improve significantly the quality of life of our patient because no medication could work like your own body. It's very emotional uh, for us to you know, see him live his life um, like this. You know, some days are good and some days are not so good. Five years ago when we found out he had type 1 diabetes, we knew um, it was a chronic medical condition and that it's been around for so long and there's no cure or there's nothing that's in the horizon that might help. And now there is something and it's very exciting that it could possibly change his life. The BCG vaccine, it's old and safe. It's also new and exciting. And by the World Health Organization, safest vaccine ever developed in the world. And we're so happy to have so many colleagues globally working on this drug and its potential to change disease course for immune disorders. So that's um, very exciting to see the renewed enthusiasm over a generic and safe drug. I really think that a BCG vaccine is extremely exciting for our patient to improve their quality of life and to reverse the immunological problem associated with type 1 diabetes.